I'm Rosa Maria Gonzalez Guarda, and I am an assistant professor at the School of Nursing and Health Studies at the University of Miami. And I've been fortunate enough to be part of an initiative by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation at the Institute of Medicine. And we have been charged to look at the future of nursing and write specific recommendations of how that future is going to look. The committee formed about two years ago. And we've been working on, a, on the study for about 17 months. And we've been looking at various issues relating to nursing and the nursing profession as it relates to the health and health care of the United States. We were charged with, with various things regarding the future of nursing. They wanted us to look at the nursing shortage and solutions, potential solutions for that, uh, to look at nurse faculty, to look at the critical roles uh, that nurses will play in a, in a reformed health uh, healthcare system. And in order for us to do, uh, to meet those, those, those study charges, we did various activities. We met um, a few times as committee members. Um, we had town hall meetings throughout the country, uh, and each town hall meeting f had a different area of focus. The first one, which is, uh, was in Los Angeles, focused, uh, focused on acute care. The second one uh, focused on community health, public health, and uh, primary care, and that was in Philadelphia. And then the last one uh, focused on nursing education, and that was in Texas. I really hope um, and I really believe that our recommendations are going to have a real strong felt impact locally uh, on the state level and at the national level. And what I, what, what I hope is accomplished from these recommendations is that nurses be used to, the full cap to their full capacity um, because when they are used to their full, full capacity, good things happen. That, that translates in the better health and better health outcomes in the, in the American uh, public, both at the local level and at the, at the national level.